What's going on YouTube? Ichi here. We're back with some more Ninja Gaiden 3. Um, and we're just going to pick up where we left off. I think we were on... Yep, we're on at stage 7. We're getting toward the ending here. Um, yeah, well, you guys already know. When Ninja Gaiden gets towards the end of the game, they start throwing... All these hordes of enemies at you. Uh. Uh, but yeah. That's too bad they don't got any more games on here. Any retro games. The only game that I know that they have is, um, I think it's a DS game called a, with, with, uh, Momiji, called like a Shrine Maiden or something. Uh, Dragon Shrine or something. Forgot the name of it, but. But yeah, that's too bad they don't got any Super Nintendo games anymore. Because Ninja God is a good series, like, they could do a lot with it. But, you know. I'm also afraid of what they're going to do to it, because it might turn out like Spider-Man, being like mad woke and stuff. I was looking at more Spider-Man stuff, because I, I didn't play it, but I seen like clips of it, people were showing how, how woke it's become. And it's like, Jesus Christ. Because this company called Sweet Baby Inc. Or, I mean, alright. Cause this kind of goes down the rabbit hole of conspiracy theories and all this other stuff that's like going on in the world but basically sweet baby ink they they they, they uh they're just a company that pushes this woke this <coughs> excuse me they push this woke agenda and like they want to include like dei diversity equity inclusion that you know when you hear those words together that means trouble <laughs> it means trouble it does diversity, equity, inclusion. Like, <laughs> this part kind of annoying. Freaking drones! Damn. But yeah, like it's it, it's trouble. You want to steer clear of whatever company uses those words. Because they'll go out of their way to force representation where there doesn't need to be any. And they go out of their way to segregate people based on their physical attributes. It's like we're doing a 180 from what Martin Luther King wanted. Like Martin Luther King Jr. wanted to judge people by their character, not by the conscience of their skin. But we go on full backwards and that's what we're doing now. It's ridiculous. So that's why you'll see it, like, it, it's everywhere. It's in movies, video games, the media, like, commercials. You'll see them prom overly promote women. Like, commercials, like, I would say, like, are, like, 60% women. and just commercials in general. And even when you have commercials with men, like, they won't be, like, just straight white men. They'll be, like, they'll be gay men, or they'll be, like, uh... Freaking BIPOC characters, BIPOC people of color. BIPOC, that's so stupid. These terms are so dumb. That's why I, that's why I steer clear of politics and I don't like talking about it because it's just annoying and people don't want to hear it. They just want to have fun and not think about that crap. But it's kind of hard not to talk about it where it's, when it's everywhere. And especially in the media that we consume. Like, you know, everyone loves movies video games but they use it as a propaganda tool to push that agenda that's why now you see in video games they, they uh, tone down the women they don't make sexy women anymore in video games like they don't make bombshells they, they tone down the beauty standards and they're making women like really ugly and have like frumpy looking bodies 
like women don't have super bottom body uh, body types anymore and um in video games or they're or they're like conservatively covering up the women like women can't show their sex appeal it's like come on man. It's, it's like sex sells as gamers like that's what we want to see there's nothing wrong with that like like we're not we're not buying like you know po porn we're not buying that like you know but a little cleavage doesn't hurt anybody like <laughs> you don't like what the hell a little cleavage don't hurt nobody but they tone it down the women they're trying to make people get used to being dealing with ugly women not there's anything wrong with that but, you know everybody got their uh specialties but sometimes you got ugly people like <laughs> It is what it is, you know. Sometimes, you, sometimes you gifted, sometimes you're not. You just gotta make do with what you got. That, wh how, how you think ugly guys be getting girls? Like they got money, or they're fit and buff and shape, or they got money, you know, or, or or they're funny. Like you gotta work around your defects and strengthening your other attributes. That's all you'll see, like an ugly guy with a chick. Like, damn, how, how he pull her? Because he's mad funny and charismatic. As you kids would say, he got the riz. <laughs> the charisma. Or or he's fit, buff, in shape. You know? Because women, women are attracted to testosterone. They like masculine energy. Girls don't want betas. The only ones that do are the toxic ones. You know, the simps, they be like, oh, my queen, this and that, and putting these, oh, man, <laughs> my personality coming out. Let me let me not go into a rant about this, though, because <laughs> I got, <laughs> I'm a sound freaking red pill. No, I'm not, I'm not with that shit either, like, blue pill, red pills, like, fuck all that, just, just be, just be a man, like, you know, like, <laughs> just be a man, like, you don't gotta, like, act, you know, cater to some group. And I'm, I'm not I'm not a woman hater either because men we need women and then women need men like we need each other So I'm not with that either people be like against women. It's like It's like yeah modern women are kind of you know, they cut they kind of going south So it's like They acting like they don't need men because they're in this point where they're being told they don't need men and they're being lied to by the media and all these, uh, you know, societal norms pushing that agenda. Where it's like, nah, you do. And then, like, they realize later when they single and alone, that man, I should try hard to find somebody. And it's like, yeah. Cause, you know, women being lied to. It's sad. It's honestly very sad. But, you know. That's what's going on with society. This been going on for a long time with this feminist agenda. Like they're just lying to women, tricking women. And the people who created that agenda, they themselves were married <laughs> and had a man. Like <laughs> it's super fucked up. Like it's super fucked up. But the reason why I'm talking about that stuff, because it relates to video games, okay? But we're, we're going to circle back here. It relates to video games. Because that agenda is being pushed in all our media, our video games. You see it in commercials, like I said. And they don't, they don't advocate for men being men, like... Like, you're not going to see a male power fantasy anymore. Like, God of War. Remember the original God of War? How he's killing monsters, slaying people left and right, and banging hot women. And they got their boobies hanging out. <laughs> you're never going to see a, a, a real God of War like that again in 2023. You're not going to see that again. You're going to have all these woke groups. <laughs> all these woke groups on Twitter. Uh, hooting and hollering. About how it's sexist, it's misogynist. They uh, objectify women. Even though you'll go on Twitch and you'll see these Twitch hoes objectifying themselves. It was like, oh, 
oh, we can objectify ourselves, but you can't objectify us. Like, like, ho, oh, serious? It really gets me under underneath the skin is that, you know, these. <laughs> I don't like using the word simp either, but it's, it's, it's the only word I got that that like expresses how much how much low self esteem these men got. Like these, these Twitch holes would have like a thousand people in their chat, and dudes be giving them money. Like, what are you giving this whole money for? Like, she's not <laughs> she's not doing shit. Like all the stuff you could, you know what I mean? And then like these women are built up by men. Cause they act like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting money on my own, I'm hustling. Like, no, men are giving you money. You're making your fortune off of men. Like, be real about that. You got men to thank for your money. So, uh, it just, that just, just driving me crazy. Cause they don't like to admit that. They act like, oh, it's female empowerment. It's like, no, you're catering to men. You're... You're using the oldest tradition in the in the history to make money. It's prostitution. That's literally what it is. Because prostitution is as old as civilization. Because men, we you know, men we want power, we want wealth, we want family, and we want women and food. So of course, women got something we want, and they can sell it. You know, I'm just being real. And all these hoes thinking that they're empowering themselves. Like, no, you're just doing the old, tra old tradition that of civilization and just prostitution. Because men, men would do almost anything for it. I think there was this famous athlete. He's paying like a hundred grand for some chick. Like, and he flexing on her. Like, like yeah, he, yeah. He, uh... These people with money, man, they just be wasting their way. I'd be dead if I waste like a freaking couple rocks on, on a chick like because if you got charisma if you got game as the, as the old head call it the girls just come to you and they want to do stuff for you because they, they they vibe with you so it's kind of goofy that you pay like a couple rocks for girl, girl attention and time I don't, I don't get that shit man. Are so annoying. Like you literally have to climb up all this freaking tower, and like they just throwing all these enemies at you. Like look at this, spikes everywhere. You got drones everywhere. You got a uh, freaking turret shooting out these little balls at me. It's like I have to tank the hits from the spike to climb up here. Cause other, otherwise I'm gonna waste time. It's like damn. Like look at all this. <laughs> it's nonsense. But um, yeah. If they, like I said, God of War. And we're gonna circle back again. <laughs> Try not to get derailed in the conversation. But you're never gonna see a, a, a old God of War like we had back in the day. You're not gonna see that again. So that's what they want to do. They they want to kill masculinity. They want they want to make men look weaker. They want to have the woman be the girl boss. You see it in all these superhero movies, like the Marvels that came out, how that bombed. And then, like, even in uh, uh, Avengers Endgame, when they had that scene where all these just female superheroes were walking out. Like, they just had mad females just lined up. It's like, okay, like, we get it. But no, they want to kill masculinity. Like, they don't want men to be men. They want to soften men. And make them more feminine, but weak men, like, <laughs> like having weak men isn't good for women. Like, 
Like, they gonna find out. There you go. Who's this? Ryu Hayabusa, you did well to get this far. Where's Clancy? Oh, it's a monster. You're Clancy. Correct. Look at this body full of super life power. Look at these freaking lips, yo. Listen carefully, Ryu. I want to protect the Earth from humans. Humans are weak and disgusting little creatures who love to fight. You know they should be wiped out, don't you? Ryu, join me, and I'll even let you bring a perfect human to ride the ship with us. That sounds so weird. Once the Earth is cleansed of humans, we can start a new world. No reason can ever excuse the destruction of slaughter of mankind. The only thing that's going to get destroyed is you and this dimensional warship. Tell him, Ryu. Nah, he's not too bad. It's just, you know, dodge that lightning. He's just floating around. It's not like fighting Jackie, yo, from Ninja Gaiden 2 and 1, where those fights are mad annoying. Cause you can't hit Jack yo, it's mad hard to hit him. But um... So I'm, I'm worried about a, a reboot of Ninja Gaiden. Cause if they remake Ninja Gaiden now, 2023-2024, they're gonna have Irene save- cause, I, Cause this shit even went into Resident Evil 4 remake. And I know you guys are like, oh, Ashley, you know, she's actually doing something. She's not useless. But in that game, Ashley saved Ryu like, uh, <laughs> Ryu. <laughs> Ashley saved Leon like three times. Like, she's supposed to be the damsel in distress, you know? It's like, and even Ada. Ada in that game also had more, a more prominent role. And that that's what I mean by them pushing that agenda. Like, men can't be men. Like, in the original Resident Evil 4, Leon was just... He was cooking. Leon was just busting ass, taking names, and saving the chicks. He was a one-man army. He was just going with him. I mean, yeah, you got separate ways, but... You, you know. It, it doesn't take away from Leon having Ada, you know, help him. But it... The way they promote it was was different. It was more upfront. It was towards the end. Of, Separate ways was like DLC, and it was kind of more subtle because Ada, Ada was more in the shadows, helping Leon. But in the remake, she was just upfront, just taking over his his light, his spotlight. It's like, damn, Leon can't just be a man. Like, you got Ashley saving him, and that's what I mean. Like. So if they remake Ninja Gaiden, they're gonna have Irene. She's gonna, cause she, Irene had a gun in this game, right? So imagine they reboot it. They're gonna have Irene up front. She's gonna be like shooting ninjas down, and she's gonna have to save Ryu too, <laughs> instead of Ryu saving her. She's gonna, she gonna save Ryu. She might, she might even jump in front of him, take a bullet for him, instead of it being the other way around, you know. Or she might say Ryu, or, or she might even have an argument with Ryu. Tomorrow, oh, I'm tired of you uh, uh, putting me down. I, I'm, I'm tired of being oppressed by you. Oh, I, I want to stand on my own. You, like you know, it's it's all that feminist agenda that we see. It's poisoning all our media. So just just think about that. <laughs> So that's your real form. I might have known. Prepare to die, Clancy. Yeah, I know I sound like a broken record, but just just think about it. Like that's all I'm asking for you guys. Like just think about it next time you're watching a movie, or you see a commercial, or you you know you're playing a favorite video game. Just 
just think about how these modern media uh, consumption, whatever you're consuming the modern media, just think about how they're pushing this message on you. And think about how divisive it is rather than us coming together. Finally. Hey, what's this? Oh, it's the warship, man. No, something else. Damn, you don't give up. Also, so this is the final, final boss. They got tired of doing the freaking demon head statue thing. So they kind of like, um, switched it up. But it's still the same thing, though. You just chop the head and awaken the boss. Vulnerable spots to take out. I actually beat this beforehand. So I'm just going to load the um, portion of me beating it. Because I don't want to do this again. But yeah, that's what worries me. That's why I don't like buying like Western games anymore. Just look at, um, if you don't believe me, just look at uh, Spider-Man 2. Just just look what they did with Mary Jane and uh, the, the missions. that They gave her five missions in that game. And people hated those missions in the first one. And then look at this the, the fight with her as Scream yelling at Peter. It's, it's everything like, that I've been talking about in Persona 5 form. So that's what worries me about these modern Western games. They, they just care about the message. They don't care about gameplay and just having fun. So just think about that, guys. I, I don't want to sound like I'm crazy <laughs> or trying to push some agenda. I just want you guys to be aware because th that's what woke meant back in the day. Just be aware of what's going on. But the, the term woke got hijacked by SJWs. So now it's more of a, of a denigrative term, derogative term. But it used to be a good thing. Just be aware of like what's going on. That's what woke meant. But like I said, it got hijacked. So like I said, I'm not trying to push no agenda. You know, people, you know, should just try to be happy. However, I just want you guys just to be aware of what's going on. Like don't don't walk around the world blind, you know. Just walk around open eyes open, head up. And that's Ninja Gaiden 3. This is the end of Clancy and Foster and their sinister plan. I'll never understand why people make and pursue evil plans until they wind up dead. It's probably just what men do. They're like, see, see, that's that's what they would do. That's what they would do. She would say something like that in 2023, 2024. Humans always strive, and I've said. All creatures living on this earth and all worlds can never be just a part of someone's plans. <laughs> Fortunately, mankind never foolish enough to wipe itself out to achieve some ambition. <laughs> Being with you again is like this makes me want to thank all the living beings in this world. Like some climate change propaganda. That's my one desire. A new day is about to begin. Oh, we you. That's cool. Alright, guys, it's gonna wrap up Ninja Guy in 3. Um, I got a bunch of RPGs I'm sitting on. So I don't know about retro games. I might throw some stuff out. I think people like the Star Wars bit I was doing. So I might I might pick that back up. But we'll see. But yeah, this has been Ichi and <laughs> I'll see you guys around for the next one. Peace.